da 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 here's Matt. Da 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 there's Bert. Da 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 hope something sticks. Blah blah blah. Welcome to Hope Something Sticks. I'm Bert. I'm Matt. And today we're going to be continuing the series of videos uh, chronicling me and Matt's schooling and careers. So uh, today we're going to do me. And I'll... <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> this is a kid's show, damn it. Really? I shouldn't have put excl- explicit on the uh, podcast then. <laughs> If you put that on there, kids will be attracted to it. That is kid honey. Not only that, when you it upload better be a kid show, get demonetized. Um, when you upload a video on YouTube, it specifically asks you if it's made for kids. Not, you know, is it uh, clean for kids or anything? Is this specifically made for kids? I guess oh. because there's like a, a kid section of YouTube. So maybe they like throw it in there and uh, okay, maybe go through with all the other. Gotcha. Go through the cartoons and shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Probably look okay. at it harder too. Anyway, makes a little bit more sense. Yep. The idea is that uh, the point of this is not to commiserate with fellow idiots who have made the same poor choices we have. <laughs> the point with any lecture is to prevent a kid. From making these choices so when i say kid i mean young adult when i say young adult i mean a 16 year old or a 17 year old who has already who could teach us some words words quotation marks yeah sure those aren't words <laughs> i look at urban Dic- I, I i have to look at urban dictionary almost every day i have to gotta stay There's up. too many young people uh, well, they're just coming up with new shit all the time. I should have been prepared when I said that, but uh, something will come to mind. Whatever it is that I keep looking up. Because they'll just drop some goddamn stupid slang. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? What did he just call me? <sighs> Can't have a comeback to gibberish. I usually just... That's my clapback. Are you, <laughs> are you sure... Stop speaking gibberish to me. Are you sure that it's not gibberish? They're just, like, making it up for you? Like, a, no, like that they're Dave saying Chappelle, it, it, that it, Dave Chappelle said, it's like zip it up and zip it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, zippity doo da. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not learning this crap to repeat it. I need to be able to have a retort that works on their level, their cockroach level of intelligence. All right, so. Um... We'll start off with uh, College Academy. Um, so you gotta, ex- yeah. you gotta explain what the hell that is. Oh, people don't I am. Did, did we explain it in the last episode? A little bit, episode? but uh, the dual I'll, enrollment I'll thing. Little, yeah, I'm gonna go deeper into it. So oh, yeah, okay. both me and so me and Matt, uh, we're actually both. I think we've been in the same school since fifth grade. You were at and, Everglades. Yeah, I was. Oh, I was shit. Mrs. Manny's class, right next to yours. Oh, she you, seemed you like the cool one. She was the cool one. Oh, okay, um, yeah. yeah. I think my so, teacher's dead. You, was your teacher like Mrs. Huff or something? That sounds exactly right. I was going to say Mrs. Huff, but it didn't sound right. Yeah. Yeah, there's only three of them. Uh, yeah, but we actually never knew it. We first met each other in like 10th grade English. Right. Uh, and I remember, so that was 2003, because I remember... <laughs> Miss Kilbasa. <laughs> Miss Kilbasa, man. I had but, to look it up. I'm like, there's no way it's spelled It's spelled exactly like how you think it's spelled. <laughs> spelled D-O-N-G. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I remember it was 2003, because uh, that was when the Marlins won the World Series. Eat a dick. <laughs> It's tor- it fucking torture. <laughs> yeah, especially the way you, we beat the Cubs. We beat ourselves, as usual. With uh, uh, the help of one of your fans. Yeah, there were lots of fans who reached out. We won't say his name to protect his privacy. Uh, it was Moises' fault. Moises Alou, that's who did it. If he didn't overreact, <laughs> then everybody else would have not overreacted. He needed to have a cool, calm, and collective head, but he was he was yelling and screaming, and then everybody wanted to point a finger at one person. 
He told him what he did. He ruined that guy's life. Everybody around him was reaching for that same ball. We weren't supposed to be talking about this, damn it. Let's That's rewind. Right. Back to 2003. Yeah. I'm trying to bury those memories. <clears throat> How many beers right. it took to get that out of there? Thanks. <laughs> it's like dredging up out of the ocean. You just unearthed a bunch of PCBs, and now my fucking lungs don't work. You guys won like 15 years later. Yeah, and then the end of the world happened. How cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> I... Oh, yeah. One... Before we go into that, I predicted this. <laughs> okay, I said, I said the, the Cubs can't win a World Series because if they did, it'd be a sign of the apocalypse. And looky Lou, what fucking happened right afterwards? Okay, well, you know. I, I, and I asked Matt if it was worth it. He said yes. <laughs> 100% yes, it was worth it. <laughs> I wasn't proud of that moment. Well, I'm not proud of it now, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> It was still worth it. I don't care. <laughs> I, otherwise, I'd, uh, that's all I'd be thinking about right now. All the shit that's going on. And it's like, okay, well, great. Now the world's going to fucking end. The Cubs still didn't win a goddamn World Series. <laughs> at, least I can, at least I can die happy. Knowing I died in the motherfucking apocalypse. <laughs> that's a great Patton Oswalt joke. You know that one? Nah, I don't think I heard that one. <laughs> okay, he's like... Like, you know what? How, you know how I want to die? I want to die in the end of the world. I want it to be that because otherwise, like, you know, you get to heaven and it's like, hell, how did you die? Bus accident. How did you die? Fire ants. How did you die? How did I die? I died in the motherfucking apocalypse. <laughs> and then he goes into a very long explanation of how he a, died. Yeah, well, yeah, it's like a gross out of. How the apocalypse goes on. It just goes on and on. Look it up. Patton Oswald, yeah. he's got it. His stuff's on some fucking streaming service. Who gives a shit? I'm not here to plug yeah. Patton Oswald. He doesn't need to get plugged. His earlier stuff was good. His later stuff sucks. There. <laughs> <laughs> like 99% of all artists. As opposed to us, who just suck all the time. Yeah. Titty. All right, we were in 2003 and we. Fast forward to 2016. You missed a you missed yeah. a lot of stuff. <laughs> All right, here here we go. Here we go. More okay. Let's focus. So, so yeah, we met in 2003 in English class, um, and then so my my mom came to me with uh, College Academy. I hadn't heard about it. Uh, she says, you know, basically you transfer in your junior and senior year. Uh, to another high school, which is in Broward College, which is like the community college uh, that was close by. And then you just do the rest of a high school there. You get your AA degree, and uh, it's all all the college stuff is free. Like the the state pays for the books and for the classes. So you essentially, and, you know, you're still living with us. So that's completely free two years of college for you. And I didn't really want to go. Uh, uh, it seemed too hard taking college classes. Yeah, I know. Really? But we'll get... Well, uh, yeah, but what actually did it for me was most of my friends were seniors when I was a sophomore, so they were graduating. Uh, one of my few friends that was my age was moving, and I was like, you know what? Fuck this school. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my sentiment, exactly. Regular high school really sucks. Uh, at least ours did. I, yeah. Probably most of them do. Yeah, that place. It's like a goddamn factory. Yeah. It was like, That's uh... It, and it, was, it was like salmon going up a stream yeah. in between every class. To put it in perspective, uh, that class, my sister went there, went to Cyprus, and her graduating class was one of the largest at the time in the country. 1,200 people. 1,200 yeah. kids. Is insane. Yeah, I, th I think, yeah. After that, they built another high school to make it smaller. It's still huge. I still don't think they have freshmen's go freshmen going there. Yeah, and they built a whole other building. Yeah, there's 5,000 so, 5, so, 5, so students really. at that school. Yeah, it was fucking disgusting. I wanted to get out of there the second I could. So, um, so yeah, so now to get so into the college academy. 
So yeah, to, so to get in, and this is uh, kind of the, one of the main, this happens a lot, uh, <laughs> where you need to get a certain GPA to qualify for College Academy. If you qualified, you were pretty much in. Like it was still, uh, no, nobody really knew about it back then. It's super hmm. competitive now. Hmm. It re it's really competitive now, and like actual smart people go to it. <laughs> yeah, we had some real grade A fucking dumbasses. <laughs> yeah. Um, Probably why I didn't but, take it very seriously. <laughs> I'm like, wow. So, so I just barely made the GPA. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Like, in fact, I didn't. I didn't have the minimum GPA requirement uh, applying. I got it by the time, by the end of the year. Oh man, uh, how close were you? I never knew that. Super close. Like, oh, that's awesome. I was, pro I was probably like point one over. <laughs> Fantastic. So this was a that, point in history. That, 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 that's the theme. That's the theme of my entire. Almost my entire schooling, which you'll find out. I don't even know if you knew how close I was to a lot of this shit. Uh, no, I mean I knew about the the bachelors. Yeah, <laughs> that one was funny. <laughs> They're all funny. They're all. <laughs> like, how the so, hell do you hit the uh, line that consistently <laughs> over and over and over again? It's like hitting the yellow all the way home. <laughs> just a, just a fucking master at doing exactly oh, the amount that's God. needed. Jesus, like the perfect fucking bureau, time. Like the perfect bureaucrat. He's the most efficient man in all the world. <laughs> You're gonna believe it by the end of this. <laughs> At least as far as studying goes. All right, um, so you got into college academy. I got into college academy. Skin of my teeth. Uh, met. Well, didn't meet. I actually we met the last day of class our sophomore year, and I remember saying. Uh, telling you, hey, I, I'm going to be getting the hell out of here going to this thing called College Academy. And you're like, no way, me too. Probably slightly differently. <laughs> I don't think you said no way. It's like, ah, that was it. That was probably it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. And uh, so, okay, that's one person I know. Uh, then met Danny, who our moms knew each other from middle school and like reconnected on uh, orientation. So yeah, they, they met in orientation. I saw you met Danny there. So since we we're now in college, technically, even though we were like high school juniors, it was kind of, it was already time to think about, you know, majors, what the hell are you going to do with your life? Uh, since we were two years ahead, what I originally wanted to do was uh, work artificial intelligence uh, for robots. So what I did was I was going to originally double major in computer science and psychology, and then uh, and then magically a job will happen. Yes, back in those <laughs> days, it. a job magically happened. So, uh, so I did that for a while. Uh, I took a uh, programming class, which was fun. I liked uh, so uh, software development. It was going fine. I was also taking psychology classes, which were was, were interesting. Uh, then I took calculus. <laughs> with Mrs. Kessler. Yes. <laughs> now, I would say she's not a great teacher, and uh, but then again, I wasn't a great student. Uh, I remember skipping... Actually, I only skipped once, but it was for a ping pong tournament at Broward College. Uh, and it was a pretty epic match uh, against the... Uh, I was the second best uh, person in... Uh, ping pong player at Broward College, and I went up against the first, the the best person, which was uh, Andrew, that Filipino guy that was in our class. Oh, okay. He was really good. He was a really good offensive player, and I was a really good defensive player. And those were some pretty epic matches we had. Uh, I think, yeah, it went. We had to do a tiebreaker, and uh, he he won, but uh, it was it was it was fun. Anyway. No one's gonna so, be able to look up that record. You could have totally lied. I'm pretty sure. If, I think I I lost the first one, won the second one, and lost the third one. Uh, he he went a little too conservative on the second one. That's why I won. Anyway, mm. he was definitely better better than me. But uh, I gave him a good match. So oh, that's good. 
so I ended up getting a C in calculus one, and I had to get, I had to do calculus two to get a computer science degree. Mm. Uh, actually, I think I needed to. I think I needed to do calculus two to get an AA degree as well, because that's probably right. Because maybe I would have stuck with it. Cause no, I didn't reason need why, that. Well, I mean, you have different requirements for different that you didn't. You weren't going for computer science. Gotcha. Needed calc two for the uh, computer science action. I think so. Yeah. Uh, because the real reason why I gave up on it was I had no choice. She was going to teach Calc 2 because for uh, math, English, and history, those were all done by the high school teachers that worked for College Academy. Like science and everything else you did uh, in actual college class. But those three subjects, you had to do it in the high school setting so you're with all your classmates for those classes and then you're with college students uh, of all your other classes so since it was math i had no choice but to take her again and i said mm. you know what i'll just give up on my dreams uh right now because of <laughs> this one class this is hard yeah <laughs> yeah so, uh, so that sounds about right so i was like all right well i'm still in working general. on psychology yeah so I'm still doing my psychology class. Like, you know, what? I'll just be a psychologist. I'll get my PhD and that's what I'll do. Now, I also, now I did not have the grades to get an AA. Well, okay. So I, I could have gotten an AA in psychology, mm -hmm. but I couldn't have, I couldn't have transferred to UF. So it's really easy to transfer to you. At least it was like now. It's it not was. Transfer. No, they don't yeah. want to be doing that. They stopped doing yeah, that they, right after we left. Right after, yeah, we were really lucky. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got so, that fucking right. So that, so this is how, and again, this, this is like all help from my mom, uh, gaming the system, uh, so that <laughs> my lazy ass. Can, Shut up! You're letting, keep, you're letting the bag out. <laughs> out You're gonna come bag, after yeah. us fifteen years later, damn it! <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is not. It's not like. It's breaking the rules or illegal or anything. She just did the research and mm. it's like, hey, you just do it this way and it's way easier. Oh, okay. I'll do it that way. <laughs> what is that second way? What's the back door? So, okay. Okay. This is the back door. What was you, the back door? <laughs> if you can't, if you don't have the grade point average to transfer in as a psychology mm -hmm. uh, student, you get an easier AA degree from the same college, the Liberal Arts and Science College. Yep, and then you, so you get in with that, then you transfer when you're in UF yep. to a, a different go. major. So I got an English degree. <laughs> nice, there you go. So I got a associate's degree in English. Actually, even that was close. The GPA was. <laughs> I had to my I had to I had to get A's in my summer classes uh, to qualify, and I did. I got mm -hmm. A's, uh, and so I actually I got accepted to UF. So what did you just lob a couple of softballs over the over the wall there over your summer classes? Like, there was oh, psychology man, I, class. I, I, I need so, social <laughs> psychology and I think developmental psychology. Okay. Uh, I also took sociology, which was really easy. Yeah, um, that's, yeah, I took that in college. A waste of money. <laughs> I did have a good. Thing. I had like, a good joke that, in that, that class. That that was so easy. Uh, it, was, it was one of those classes where I just got an A. And like barely opened the book. Mm -hmm. well, that's about right. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, so I actually got accepted into UF, but I didn't know I was gonna, not knowing I was gonna go because I still had to get my grade point average uh, higher. So it was kind of like, uh, oh, cool. I still don't know if I'm going. So it wasn't like, you know, whoopee. <laughs> so and if it. If I didn't get a high enough uh, grade point average, I would uh, end up at UCF, which, like, they accepted me like that. <laughs> like, yeah, they accepted everybody. They still are, as far as I know. Yeah, yeah. It's where the uh, C students of uh, Florida Ooh. go. Man, you are going to piss off about a third of the state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a C student state. Easily. A C student part of the state. That's a big so, part of the bell curve. It's the biggest part. It's like the part. Yeah. They, Top of yeah, the world, they, Ma. They do have the biggest. I don't care. 
They didn't win a national championship. <laughs> Fuck them. Yeah, because we won it. I looked, we, had, we had everything to do with that. I was on the sidelines coaching. I was giving them water. <laughs> I, 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 I liked UCF, and I really liked their football team until they claimed that national championship. And I loved it. Will not be, I, 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 will, I loved it. They will not be forgiven. Um, <laughs> uh, shut up. It was great. We're undefeated against nobody. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, now, another... I want to talk about skin in my teeth again. Um, so, in Florida, you have what's called the Bright Future Scholarship. And there's two tiers to that. There's a 75% and there's 100%. I don't even know if that exists anymore, but sure. Keep going. Hopefully it does. I think it does. It's just not as good. It was uh, yeah. so great when we had it. It was... Oh, my... Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah, you were lucky. I fucked up my SATs, didn't get that hundred. I was lucky. So, okay. <laughs> so here, here, here's, here, here's how it went down. Uh, our class was in kind of a transition with the SAT. Uh, they were adding an essay section and they were changing up the, the test. That's right. Yeah, ha- that. Halfway through the, the our junior year. Right, and right, right. Mo- most, most people our year took the new test, but you could actually take the old test and it'd be fine. Mm-hmm. That's what I did because it was easier. <laughs> it didn't have the essay section, so it was also way shorter. That keeps in line with the theme, yes. Yep. Path of least right. resistance. Here comes lightning bur- bolt bird. <laughs> okay. So I, I not, 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 it's a little bit of a surprise here. Okay. Oh, so shit. You needed at least a 1270, I believe, to, to get 100% along right. with the grade point average. That wasn't an issue. Everyone at College Academy had super inflated grade point averages because right. they were taking dual enrollment classes. You get an extra right. point. An right, A right, right. is a super A. It's a five instead of a four. A B mm-hmm. is an A, and a C is a B. There's yep. no, almost no way to flunk out of that school, and yet I think two were kind of close. At least, yeah. It was amazing. Like, you guys are really dumb. They never did anything. I th- Whatever, I think we're not talking about those. Yeah. Okay, so... 1270, I got a 1260. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. Yep. All right. So I was like, fuck. Okay. So, so I took it again, and it was a, I think it was slightly low. I think it was like a 1250 or something. And I, don't, I think I took it three times. So there and that was, was a com- it was composite too, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was I didn't in the same boat. I, I took I it three times, and I, I could. It would. It would. I would alternate. It would go higher for me on English one test, and then higher on math on the other one. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. but only by like ten points at a time, <laughs> and I still missed it by like thirty points. I'm like, so oh, son of a okay. Bitch. So okay. So here, we, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Right. So, I think it was my third time. Now, this was the very last test, the uh, very last iteration of the old test. If I didn't make it this time, I'd either have to take the 75% scholarship and say, mm-hmm. fuck it, or I'd have to study for almost a completely new test. Like, the math was a lot different, and now there's an essay section. So, I took the test, the last one, and I got a 1400. Nice. Yeah. Last test, made it past, got the 100% scholarship. Fuck it, I man. So, so I got uh, so I got the hundred percent bright futures uh, scholarship. Uh, I was able was able to. I had a good enough GPA to uh, get an English uh, associate's degree, uh, and then transfer over to psychology once I got to UF. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so let's see. I, yeah, I actually didn't think I did super great when I took it that last time. So. Yeah, it's pretty surprising getting a fourteen hundred, which is uh, not too bad. Anyway, yeah, not really. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Sixteen isn't sixteen hundred used to be perfect. Yeah, so just a little bit off. Yeah, that's news to me because uh, somebody only ever said, "Yeah, I got a fourteen hundred." <laughs> Taking it eight times. It took, I think, three times for me. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, again by the skin of my teeth, 
uh, after getting the invites coming out of my teeth at uh, <laughs> into uh, college academy, I got into UF and was able to kind of go uh, on that path I I wanted to go at the time anyway. So me and you and Danny uh, all went to UF along with a third of our graduating class, which um, is is only about 150 people per class in college academy. Uh, so. Holy shit, there were 50 of us running around all, out there, and I barely, I didn't even know. Yeah, yeah there's almost 50 <laughs> of us running around. I think it was like 40-something. And To give everybody a little perspective, just a little bit, uh, we really weren't talking in College Academy. Us? At, like, like, yeah, not really. We kind of hung out we a We hung out bit. a little, you know what? It was mostly my fault. Wow. Both of our fault. Uh, we hung out... Like, say, like, before and after classes, when we had them together, we had, I remember we had physics lab together, and we had Eng- English again mm-hmm. together yeah. with, um, oh, what was her name? She was from, uh, I think she, 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 she was, yeah, she was uh, our Trinidadi English teacher. The hate. She was Trinidadi. She wasn't Haitian. Oh, she was Trinidadian. Yeah. I thought she was, oh, I thought she was Haitian. I'm pretty sure she was from Trinidad. That's right. She was teaching us British literature. I thought that was the funniest yeah. shit ever. She was asking for a review of the class at one point, and nobody understood her question except me. <laughs> <laughs> and so I got up there with my, my prepared notes, and I'm like, I, I guess I answered this question wrong, because everyone had gone before us. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I thought the class was good. <laughs> and, and she's like, thank you for, and then she was sheepishly, she was like, thank you for answering the question correctly. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wow, well, you're welcome. She was good. Um, <laughs> I want to say... Yeah, actually, for somebody with a heavy accent teaching English literature, yeah, yeah sure. No, no, she, <laughs> she taught it better than most others. Yeah, and she was cool too. Like, uh, she was. Yeah, she she, yeah. she didn't have a problem with me like climbing up shit. Like, uh, remember I climbed up on top of her portable to grab a frisbee. Oh my god, dude, that was like the that was like the story. Oh. That's, that, was, that was our big that, doing. This is what a bunch of fucking nerds we are. Somebody climbing a light post was us acting yeah. out. So, like, three of us climbed the light post, and we all got in trouble for it. And it... Not like my, my siblings grew up at a... I mean, they went to Perry and Dillard. Anybody from South Florida knows those those two schools. I don't have to go into it. Let's just say, heavy police presence. Yeah, man. <laughs> Such a bunch of dorks. There's this one girl on the bus. Oh, like, yeah. Go... Nerds! Yeah, this one girl on the bus said I had to, uh, I had to clean up my act. <laughs> when... Oh and my she god! She literally told me that. It's like, what? What do you want from me? I climbed up a fucking light pole. <laughs> Jesus! Why don't you rearrange your butt plug a little bit? Ease up. Yeah, I remember. Oh, I remember man. they they told me they were gonna call one of my parents, and so you want me to call your mom or your dad? Like, <laughs> definitely my dad. Cause I I, I, yeah, I know right? exactly the response he's gonna give, and he gave it. Um, uh, so she said that I climbed up a light pole. I said, yeah, okay. I mean, is he still up there? Like, why are you calling me? <laughs> oh, fuck. I love your dad. <laughs> oh, is he still up there? <laughs> it's like, I, I don't know what you want. <laughs> I, oh, I mean, fuck, are you giving man. him a me- Are you giving oh. him a medal? Uh, I don't... <laughs> that that part I made up. That, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are you saying my son won an award? <laughs> oh, uh, shit. He, he did. Yeah, he yeah. did make that first joke. <laughs> so. Oh, fuck. That was, that great. was great. So, um, so, yeah. So, a third of us went to UF. Uh, a third of us, almost a third of us went to Florida State. And then most other people went to UCF. And it wasn't even because, like, grade wise. Like the reason they get gay was because they wanted to be in a bigger city. What? Yeah. yeah. And th- That's, th- they weren't even what? really they were weren't even in a bigger city. They were they was they were, ne- they were next to a bigger city. They were, so UC, I, UCF isn't in Orlando. It's in Oviedo, which is next to Orlando. <laughs> it's its own. Si- oh my god. They want to be in a famer, a more famous city. I guess. Um, that was the reason they gave me. Like they did fairly clearly. Geography was not a course at College Academy. God. Yeah, 
So I that is the I didn't get I didn't give everybody more perspective. UCF is right next to you know like White Trashville. <laughs> Granted, everywhere in Florida is next to White Trashville. No disrespect to White Trashville. I grew up there. Yeah, once, once you go <laughs> north or west of uh, Palm Beach County, yeah. 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 Trashville holler. Yeah. I love y'all, but I also I also hate y'all. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it kind of blows the mind now. I, I mean, I guess these are 18-year-olds. They have 18-year-old uh, priorities. But yeah, I mean, Whatever. I mean, UF, it's even more prestigious <laughs> now. But like, if you could have gone there, or you know, Florida State, like, why would you go to U- whatever? Anyway, whatever. I met up with a few people. People, people make crazy choices. Yeah, not the craziest of choices, but eh, whatever. When I got to UF, I was rooming with Danny, and I like met up with a few people from College Academy, like for the first week. And then, like, never saw him again. <laughs> so, Neil and That's Bill. That's more than I did. Jen, I, I never fucked yeah. Dude, you can rattle off people all you Walter. want. I do have a Jen story. I do have a Jen story, though. That's Jen. Jen. Arca. Rakipo. Uh, it's a. Uh, Rakipo. That, that, that's, yeah, that's her maiden name Oops. now. Got married. We said no names. <laughs> no, no one. No one's gonna spell that right. That's true. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. We talk about Google. Just figure it out. Also, that's not her name anymore. All anyway, so, hail, so, all hail the Google Toad. Anyway, she changed her name after she got married, so that's not even her last name anymore. Uh huh. Well, now they know her maiden name. That's even more dangerous. Yeah. So anyway. Did that so, I, so? All social contact deleted. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, In, enter Matt. Enter this guy. <laughs> Close. So. Yeah. Well, I knew you'd be back. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. So. But, <laughs> no, I'm talking about me. <laughs> uh, yeah, you always come back. I know. I always just somehow end up floating back into your life. Nice job. Yeah. I'm like a fucking we did, sack of we did, shit we did, in the ocean. You didn't even have the same <laughs> class that time. Yeah, I know. It was only, I mean, I had met Danny, you know, just rewind for 10 seconds here. I had met Danny in the bookstore at College Academy by chance. We were standing in line at the bookstore waiting to get our books. And, you know, him, Danny being a nice guy, you know, we started talking. Me being. <laughs> always eager to chat people's heads off being the loner that I was this is a fun thing about hermits that a lot of people don't, probably don't realize if you walk up to them and start talking they won't shut the fuck up <laughs> and that's how I met Danny mm-hmm. and because of that mutual connection then that might have did that spur that spur you into inviting me over to the uh, the housing complex no I would invite you anyway <laughs> you since 10th grade uh, true and it wasn't exactly any more takers <laughs> <laughs> that's great yeah that's good but um, but yeah okay that's so, the confidence boost I needed today uh, uh, we'll get there we'll get there um, so but before that uh, freshman year that we didn't really anyway uh, so second psychology classes doing like okay uh sometimes <laughs> and i remember i think probably like coming back from thanksgiving or something that was like my first college uh freak out like on the bus like i, I put my jacket over yes. my head to, so people wouldn't see me like like quietly freaking the fuck out about going back to school wow damn yeah i wasn't doing super great uh, really in retrospect I, I shouldn't have been freaking out um, but I never thought about that. No, that's a good idea. The the jacket over the head. Yeah, that's better than my usual freak freak out method, which is to spray everyone with my sweat. <laughs> no, that I try to internalize it, and it's just like somebody like flexing really hard or just trying to hold in a shit. So, you know, sprinkler sprinkler style. So yeah, so that's lesson one to kids out there. If you're having a quiet freak out on the bus or some other public place. Uh, if you have a jacket, just put it over yourself, and people think you're just sleeping. 
Yep, there you go. There you go. Um, so, yeah. But um, I started getting better grades when I got back uh, and ended up being okay. Um, switching from like high school to college academy, to college academy to UF, which is not a super easy college in general to be in. Uh, just the way you approach studying kind of has to change unless you like study all the time, even in high school, which I didn't. So I kind of taught myself how to study better, uh, study more. Another thing uh, I think I should mention is um, to, you know, during this all, I uh, have uh, ADHD, which is deficit hyperactivity disorder. It wasn't really that hyper, but whatever. That, that, Pretty sure everyone's familiar. Yeah, they call it, that's what they call it that. It used to be called ADD. What everyone's not familiar with is, what do you take for that? So, some form of Ritalin or Adderall. I think they use Adderall. No, get to the good part. Yeah. What's the active ingredient? I don't know. <laughs> it's meth. Mm. I mean, it's not just straight. You don't even know what's in it? Nah. Ooh, that's even juicier. Nah. Breaking news, everybody. Bert was taking meth for years. <laughs> that was the secret. Meth! It's pretty weak meth. Um, oh, yeah, it's not the best stuff ever. I tried it. So, <laughs> yeah, so I... The riddle in, not the real man. Yeah. The riddle in. <laughs> so I started taking it... Not that I care about your fucking judgment. Anyway, <laughs> started taking it in fifth grade. Um, and it was like really minimal amount. And I never like upped the dosage. So I probably should have <laughs> taken like a little bit more. But like once I got into... Mm. But yeah, when I started high school... I really started to like hate it because it, it, it was affecting how I acted. Like it was, I was much more like whatever, like dull. I was a much, much duller person when I was on it. It was way hmm. quieter and uh, less social. And I, I was starting to realize that like, you know, because I was only on it like during school and it, like, by like the tail end of school, it started to be wearing off anyway. I, I didn't take any more like after like the morning. And so I, I could see like the difference in my personality, taking it and not taking it. So I took it a little bit less frequently. Like some days I just, you know what, fuck it. Today I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing oh, it. Oh, you were stashing your pills, you fiend. I mean, I was just keeping it in the pill bottle. Like, you know. I get you, I get you, I get you. I wasn't selling it or anything. Um, so, Jump. and then I, t and then in college, I took it even less. And then by the time I hit grad school, before I hit grad school, I just completely gave up on it. And I, and it was like having, starting to have like weirder effects on me when I was older. Like I, I could folk, so I use it, you know, to focus on studying or whatever, but I would like folk, it wouldn't always be focusing in on the right things. Like like around like when I was in college when I would take it to study I would just usually I would just kind of like wander onto Wikipedia and learn everything about I don't like Greek gods or <laughs> or uh, perfect or uh, yeah. absolutely though it's working as intended yeah. so I I became an expert on a few things uh, just not what I was studying at the time <laughs> who cares that was it that was the point of the drug yeah. just focus on something yeah but eventually stopped taking it um, I I found ways to work around having a, uh, ADD like uh, change my study habits like one thing that worked great and I wish I like figured it out uh, sooner so when you're studying you know you're just reading to yourself and um you know, for me, uh, I you know, a lot of times I just wander off as I was reading. But if you read out loud to yourself, you don't you don't fade you know fade off like you do uh, if you're just like reading quietly to yourself. So that's what I know. I uh, I learned that last week. Yeah, no, I learned that uh, in grad school. Really helped. Um, and uh, you know, a few few other techniques. To kind of uh, help me study and help me focus without you know taking drugs, and uh, I think you know it was good that I took it when I was a kid. 
you know, I, I was glad. Yeah, you I didn't know what the hell was going on. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't, you know, you know, have these techniques or whatever, and just kind of slowly taper off and like learn how to deal with it myself. I think it was a healthy just way to go about it. Like, you know, take less of it, learn how to deal with, um, you know, your issues by yourself and <laughs> eventually stop taking it if you can. So you, in other words, sucked it up, Snowflake. Nice job. I mean, sure, but it, it was from, it was like nine years of taking it. It's, it's not the same for everyone. Like some people, it's, you know, you have it c- certain degrees. Like maybe I didn't have it at such a, to such a degree as some other people. And maybe they just need to be on it. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah. It, I know somebody who needs to be on it. But that's great that you were able to actually pay attention to what the hell was going on with your body and actually respond to it and not just get used to it. That I think would be the more natural reaction, which is the more natural reaction. People see a pile of shit in the corner of their house. In this case, it's your body and <laughs> uh, that pile of shit are the wanderings of your brain. But people just tend to get used to stuff. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Uh, for and, me, and they don't address for it. For me, once I was really starting to notice it as I was getting older, you know, become a teenager. So you, you, you become different anyway. And then just seeing that stark difference and seeing that, okay, I'm a different person when I'm on it. And, uh, you know, am I not good enough just on my own? That 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 was really what uh, made me want to like stop taking it. Is I'm a different person on it, and I don't want to be that person. And you know, I think I'm good enough as is, and I, I think I can stop taking it. Mm. You know, slowly, kind of taper off. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. And um, yeah. Anyway. Quite a mature mindset. When did you realize this? What age? Probably sophomore years of sophomore year of high school. I probably really started questioning taking it anymore. And I, that's, that's I, I think that's when it's I. Like, it's like fifteen. Yeah, fifteen, sixteen. I, I started tapering off um, a little bit. Uh, I still mostly took it every day in high school. Like, but every once in a while, I'd say, you know, I I, I don't want to take it today. So why didn't you ask? Did you ask anybody? No. Before tapering this, this at all? Was, you didn't talk to anybody. I talked to nobody. I didn't talk to my parents. I didn't talk to the doctor. It was like a total personal decision of mine. Like, you know what? I'm not going to fucking take it today. <laughs> That's ballsy. And we'll see what happens. And um, yeah, you know, I was less focused, especially in high school with it. But, you know, I was able to function. Like, uh, it's ballsy and dangerous as fuck. You are evil fucking Knievel without the math. I mean, th- there's no... The good, good thing about... You know what? That ramp looks good enough. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... You want to get a protractor first? Yeah, you know, like, usually I would, like... I'd take it on a day where it's like, you know, I, I don't have to... I don't have to bring my all today. <laughs> Probably, you know. I know what's happening. Um, and... Okay, all right. And, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I just, whenever I felt like it, like this was a long time ago. But <laughs> maybe I wasn't maybe that careful. Yeah, the day's going to be consistent. But, Some days it wasn't consistent. I don't give a shit. But it was, it's not like, so I didn't take a super high dosage. And the medication I did take, it didn't have like any withdrawal symptoms. If you stopped taking it, like it was okay to not take it a day. You know, it, like it didn't. There's no negative effect. It's just, I'm on it. I feel it. I'm on it, you know, and all the benefits and you know, detriments that come with it. Or I'm not on it, and I'm just regular old me. So mm. it wasn't like, I would say there's not a huge amount of risk, like me not taking it. And also, again, it was just once in a while in high school, uh, more so in college. And then by the end of undergrad, I just completely stopped taking it. Anyway, kind of that aside. So finishing. Do you think that propelled you into your undergrad? I mean, pro- that probably. The, that was kind yeah. of a turning. That was kind of a turning point, right? Just a little bit one. Yeah, that's probably <clears throat> why I wanted to stick with psychology was because I had uh, you know ADHD, and I I think that's a big part 
a lot of people going with psychology in general is that there's something up with them and they well, want to figure it out why why it's happening. No, I understand. Yes, that's exactly yeah. why. A bar, a bouncer, a bouncer at a bar, ten, uh, a bar told me that. Yeah, and uh, oh, a good bouncer at a great at a great bar. <laughs> good. Um, and yeah, it, he's, fa- he's famous. And um, yeah, so and what the, man? The crazy thing about psychology is just how many people do it for undergrad. So mm-hmm. I told you in like in your episode, like just how ha- like psychology is huge and it's mostly women. But when I was there for either preview or um, orientation, at orientation, uh, they talked about just psychology as a major and that it was by far the biggest major in the liberal arts and science department, which is the biggest department at UF. And I think... So you're saying all women are messed up. No, I'm saying, well, no. Just the ones that are in psychology. <laughs> no. Um, again, it's... Trap. It's, it's a trap not, question. Not saying that, gotcha. I'm not saying they're messed up. Um, you know, I don't... I, first of all, I didn't ask everyone, so... I just kind of... <laughs> so it was kind of just... Nice political answer. Seeing it at... Well... Bert Candell for president. Ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, 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 da. Anyway, so the... <laughs> just seen anecdotally few crazy people in psychology probably more so than the point I was trying to make was uh, psychology is so big at least at UF that in psychology you take up more than half of the entire liberal arts and science department or college that's how that's fucking too big many. It is. it's way too many and definitely don't need that many psychology majors what a cat what a cash machine yeah unbelievable that just goes back to my point Whatever. Rewatch, re-listen to the episode of Meatbags. <laughs> so, I won't harp or rant about my crap. All right. So keep going. All right. Well, how did you get into you? Let's roll back to when you were a kid for a sec. Okay. Because you said, oh, okay, I want to get into psychology. Blah blah blah. Originally, you said artificial intelligence. I never knew that about you. Yeah, that that's kind of where. And that dropped out because of the math bullshit. Yeah. And because of the, okay, you started gaming the system. Okay, you started gaming the system. Burp, burp, burp. To me, when we I started gaming the system, I started losing faith in humanity. Because I started seeing where all the cracks were and started seeing how I could live like a crack person. You know, slithering through, not really having an identity here or there, neither anywhere at all, because I could just, I could just play the loophole game and not be anything. Well, the, and just yeah, that, you know, that that was the path of least resistance. Was the crack? Yeah, the cracks in between where everything where everything falls over. It's like ha ha, look at me, I'm fucking your stupid shit up. Yeah, that wasn't my experience, <laughs> um, because I get psychology more so than uh, at least your last two majors. You're saying you're not a crack person. Come on, why don't you live in the crack? No, because people know what a psychologist is. Like it, you know, it's a profession that everyone's heard of. And you know, getting it that 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 was the goal was getting a PhD in psychology and becoming a psychologist. Like, okay, people know what that is, so there there's no like identity crisis because w- okay, no, I get that, I get that part, but it developed into that because you dropped the AI thing. Well, I dropped the computer science, yeah. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting our earlier conversation. Yeah, I, you dropped I, the I, computer I, science thing, which was supposed to lead to the AI. Thing. Yeah. All right, we're back on track. All right. So, um, second half, I, get, I think it was the second half of our uh, first year at UF, that's when me and you uh, caught up again. Because, uh, hey. yeah, I, I was at, I had a class in the morning at Little Hall, which is right across, right by the architecture building where you were at. Right, yeah. And, uh, we, Little Hall. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so, we had, so, we had class at the same time, uh, close to each other, and just kind of bumped into each other. And then we just started playing cards like before class. Uh, That's right. Pretty much yeah. every day, and uh, yeah. So then, how we got got closer was originally I was just rooming of Danny at Springs Complex, you know, a, a dorm at UF. So there was one room basically with two people in it, and then there's a bathroom that was adjoining to another room with another two people in it. So I didn't really get to know my uh, suite mates, I guess you call them. 
or whatever. Uh, just me and Danny. And by the end of our first year, I fucking wanted to kill him. <laughs> he, he probably wanted to kill me too. Uh, we, A recurring theme in the Bert Danny saga. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we were still like, you know, really good friends and everything. Uh, you know, as much that we agreed to room with each other again, but uh, in a very different dorm. Uh, yeah, before Danny comes back on the show, you two need to have a conversation where you two just bitch at each other about yeah, I, that, I, 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 that I, just that I, year. I, I, it was just I could talk about, all, I could talk about that year, but I think I'm going to wait. Okay, I'm going to wait there, for... Yeah, yeah, huh. I think we're going to bring on Danny and oh, yeah. let him... It, like. I don't want I, I don't a, want this to turn into an episode of me just <laughs> dumping on Tim. <laughs> that is a rickety rickety dam we are walking by. I want to get past it as soon yeah. as possible so that we're anyway. Me, the me and Daniel are still really really good friends, uh, and we well, but we all are. Oh yeah, no, he 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 is one of five guys, like around five guys that you know I you know completely trusts one of my closest friends he was you know one of my uh, groomsmen at my wedding you're just saying that because you're hungry <laughs> no i danny is a great friend uh, and yeah but i wanted to kill him at the end of freshman year because <laughs> we, we, were, we were right next to each our beds were right next to each other and yeah Every night with a pillow hovering <laughs> over him. I just today's whispered the like, "Today's the day, I, I can do it. Today's the day." You, you like wrote out your notes, and you <laughs> whisper your notes out loud because you learned that awesome skill. If today's the day, Bert, you're gonna do it. Today's the day. I never did it, and I'm glad I didn't. I'm gonna fucking kill. I'm gonna fucking kill Danny. <laughs> <laughs> so do it. This is it. You said you weren't gonna fucking puss out this time. <laughs> you said you weren't gonna puss out this time. <laughs> Don't you fucking lie to yourself, goddamn! <laughs> All right, so fast forward. You didn't kill Danny, goddamn. Did not kill Danny. <laughs> Probably a good uh, choice. Um, be one man down, ropes and wise. <laughs> Probably. Uh, oh, I, I, I don't think my I gotta step I, away from the microphone. My, my life. Oh fuck. My life wouldn't have been. Oh shit. Uh, nearly oh, as God. good, you know. A, not having Danny oh, my in God. my life. B, being in jail for murder. Oh my god! Um, no, nah, de- definitely pff, right choice uh, on my part. We're gonna qualify at this at one point. <laughs> anyway, that was your cue. You're supposed to qualify it, Danny. We love you. <laughs> I, I qualified it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> totally love Danny, and as okay, I said, right. one of our best friends. Um, you might want to delete that T up. Nah. <laughs> rolling just roll through it just roll through it all right so so you're so you're at uh that was springs complex, the springs right? complex is where uh all the uh, athletes used to uh, uh live uh, i think that's changing now uh when they're like like building all this new football stuff so we uh me and danny went to still room together uh but uh, there's this one dorm well, there's two dorms i was like this one dorm that was just for upperclassmen, which we qualified after our first year because we were, we would be technically would be technically seniors, um, right? By credits, and so, so game in the system. So um, so we wanted to move into Keys Complex, which was apartment style. It's actually like the layout was nice. Like you know the the walls were still like you know prison brick. Uh, or, um, oh yeah. You couldn't hear shit. Yeah. Or, um, Fantastic. I got spoiled. Man, that was... You get spoiled living in that. Yeah. Or, um, Up here in Chicago, you hear everything. Yeah. Very thick walls. Um, but yeah, it, it was four separate rooms. Uh, a, li- a decent-sized li- living room, decent-sized kitchen, full kitchen, had stove, fridge, all the good stuff. And yeah, as far as college living goes, it wasn't. Yeah, no, it was great. Uh, and it was like right by... And a cleaning service. Clean, Yeah, people would come. A cleaner would yeah, come every week gonna, to clean the bathrooms. Yeah. And yeah, it, it was great. 
<laughs> it was like better than any college student deserved. Uh, and it was like right by the, the baseball field and the football field and the basketball uh, arena. I mean, That's right, it man. was like, it was the spot. So, uh, so me and Danny were going, uh, so th- that still leaves two more people. And so we were looking around, uh, asking people, you know, if they went to a room with us. A lot of no's. Um, <laughs> actually, I, probably only one no. Uh, that, that only one no that I recall. So I asked one guy who was in my bowling class, and then I asked you, and you were down. And we couldn't get anyone else, but that was good because there was no empty four-spot uh, room that there... There, I think there was like two spots where um, you could put in three people. And so we got one of those. Mm. So we were like super early on it, like requesting the uh, the dorm. And, Hell yeah. And then, then once you get the dorm, you can just like keep it. Like <laughs> you just... They, well, it's got to be your mom's doing. Oh yeah. she Definitely my mom uh, was... She, she was the it. one that was up on all that. And... I did. I was vaguely aware that keys existed. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, pretty much thanks to our mom, we get uh, my, my mom that, uh, we got that apartment and, you know, we put it in like right when, uh, it opened up for, uh, part, uh, dorm requests and, uh, we were able to score that. So I stopped freaking out so much, uh, but and then everything was a okay. Kind of. So, and uh, I remember as a freshman, I was also a research assistant for a psychologist uh, doing a study on the effects of uh, dementia on driving ability. Well, I'm not sure how or when, how long were we total, were we living there? Two years? Um, no, had a bit, had a bit, seemed like longer. You were there longer than I was because I graduated. That's true. But it, I was there two and a half years. I think you were there like three years, at least. I must have been there three. Okay. Well, I'm not talking about the third year. So we were inside the two years. So this has been 08, 09, leading into 10. Yeah. Okay. So. Just so we get the time the timeline right. Anyway, so I was going to seminars or whatever about getting into graduate school as a you know psychologist. And uh, it was very, <laughs> it was very competitive because there are a shit ton of people getting a bachelor's in psychology, and there's only so many spots per university for a uh, you know a, a PhD students. You know they like each school like probably takes I don't know like five to seven or whatever like only like you know a handful of graduate students each year because you know that, yeah. that's all they because basically you know you teach a few classes uh and mm-hmm. you do research with the professor for whatever they're working on yeah it's almost like a it's so, basically a life's work so yeah so you're basically it's really it's almost like applying for a job like you take you take some classes uh but a lot of it's just research and teaching uh, classes yourself a big part of it is teaching a decent part of it's teaching. Uh, Dan, Daniel went through it with microbiology. He did, he did teaching for like a year or two, uh, and then like the rest of it was research. And it was, oh, it was dawning on me that I wasn't going to get into uh, uh, a PhD program because uh, my grades were not bad, but they, you know they weren't like stellar, and they they had to be. So probably not going to get into how far how far out. Um, I would say two semesters, one semester. Until I realized, uh, I would... well, let's go from first realization being I'm gonna guess was probably a full like the full, the first seedling of a realization. For me, it was like a semester and a half. Yeah. Or yeah. You know, you can, you can go back even further if you want. It was a long, slow drain for me. I think it really started dawning on me, like, well, the beginning of my uh, last year. Yeah. So after a, a year, 
and I, you know, started, mm-hmm. and it was like starting to become time to apply to uh, these positions. It's like, man, there's no way I'm <laughs> getting this. Also, I kind of didn't want to, because I, I was talking. So, you know, since I was a research assistant for a year, uh, I was working with two PhD students, you know, in psychology. So, I kind of got the insights mm-hmm. from them, and yep. They told me, I, I didn't even realize how long it would take when all is said and done to be, you know, be a really call yourself a psychologist, seven years of grad school. <laughs> yep. Because you're becoming a doctor, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, ah, no. <laughs> no. No to all of this. Uh, and then like, you know, of course you had to do your dissertation at the end of it and yeah yeah i was not at a mature enough point to ever do that uh definitely not when i was i would have to do it start doing it well let's assume all phd students are mature yeah well sure but and i also i was like two years younger than most you know graduates you know because we did did college academy so so when i got my bachelor's degree i was still 20 years old so right yeah so uh so that dream died uh i was kind of like oh shit now what do i do (laughs) so uh the dream met the brick wall of reality so yeah so i was thinking uh the the, the last pain of some sort of office building so the first thought was um, stay in psychology, become a therapist. That's just two years of graduate school. Uh, get a master's degree, and do that. And it's like eh, okay, but uh, then my mom found this thing, which was like perfect. So there is a a major in the uh, in the business school uh, for both UF, UCF, other ones, but those were the only two I applied to. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's called information systems and operations, operational management, um, or um, I, th- I think there was a shorter name that it used to be. I th- the I think major that I should have computer, tried. Yeah, computer information systems, CIS. It became from CIS mm-hmm. to ISOM. Anyway, and what it was was it's a a mixture of business classes especially like IT business classes, regular business classes as well. And, uh, you know, software engineering classes. So computer programming, uh, databasing, querying, you know, all that stuff. Mm. And I I like computer programming. I just didn't go into it because of um, the calculus. But for the master's program in it, there's actually no pre-requirements at all. You could apply as any type of major. There's this dude, this Chinese guy, who got his bachelor's in French. Who, <laughs> who? Uh, there you go. Yeah, remember? I think you probably remember him. Uh, Eric hung out with him a lot. I think. Is he the one with like the bowl cut? He didn't have a bowl. No, cut, he, he was he actually pretty cool. Um, he he was uh, so he was Cantonese. Not bowl cut. He, he was like he, he used to live near Hong Kong. I don't know. He, he was one of the. He was. He had. A, he had. A name. Well, the, the name he gave us was Eric. There, yeah, it was actually. <laughs> it's a Yiki. Uh, but there you go. he went by Eric. Most uh, Chinese nationals. They all. They when they, they when they come they to the states. Yeah, they pretty much all do that. Um, they choose their own name, yeah, especially the guys. The, 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 the women didn't do it as much. But in my experience, so. Um, Anyway, so that actually looked really cool to me, uh, and I applied for it for UF and UCF. Got again immediately accepted from UCF and asked when I could start. <laughs> uh, like, That's pretty funny. If you if you, if you have a decent GPA and you apply to UCF, at, le- at least when I went, at least when I was applying there, they were like, yes, come, 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 come. Sort of like saloon doors without the bottom or the top. They see you coming, so it's they're like, like I mean, yeah. Like, it's I, not really a lock on that door. 
<laughs> yeah, our, our the GPA average of people coming into UCF is like you know two point three. So you know, oh. that's me. That's probably not right. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. They're just a very distant fourth. Uh, as far as uh, Florida universities go. You don't have to apologize for the spiciness of that. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, keep going. <laughs> so anyway, so I applied there. And so I got into the UCF one. Um, I also applied to a few, uh, applied to the UF one. I also applied to a few uh, programs uh, for uh, therapy. Uh, but I got, got, got the UF one. And like that was the one I wanted, and so I was, I was able to stay for you in UF, uh, keep hanging out with Matt and Danny, which was which was, so, was a very uh, big part of it. Hello everyone, Bert, who is currently editing this episode. Uh, the episode is going way too long. Uh, I think I got about another hour of this, so I'm going to make this a two-parter. So we're gonna end it right here for this episode, but. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it so far. Uh, We'll have the uh, next part of the episode next week. And uh, yeah, if you have any feedback or any questions, you can contact both me and Matt at hopesomethingsticks at gmail.com. And uh, thanks very much. And as Matt would say, uh, so long, lead bags. Here's Matt. There's Bert. Hope something sticks. Blah, blah, blah.